it's Christy from the Hickory Corner Branch Library and today I'm going to show you how to make pesto which is one of my favorite things to make in summer. So I have an herb garden and I grow a lot of basil. So I make pesto at least once a week during the summer, um, oftentimes more than that because I use it for so much. Um, I use it on pasta, I use it on bread, I love to just grill bread and just spread pesto on it, that's one of my favorites. Um, but also, if you wanna be a little more low carb or keto friendly, um, you can put it on chicken and just top it with cheese um, and put that in the oven. You can have it with um, Parmesan crisp that you just dip in there. Pesto is just delicious and can be used so many ways. So I wanted to show you how to make it. So you're going to need about two to three cups of basil, um, which I got from my garden. And you can see it's kind of getting like little black lines on it and everything. Um, and that's completely fine. I just got it out of the garden and when I removed it from the stem and washed it, it's starting to oxidize. So just like an apple, when you slice it, it starts to turn brown. Same thing's happening here. It's completely fine, good to use. Uh, you're also going to need some nuts. I'm using pine nuts, they're my favorite um, for pesto, but you can also use almonds if you want. It's going to be a bit nuttier and crunchier if you use almonds. Um, so pine nuts, again, are my favorite. I buy them in bulk because I make pesto so much. But half a cup of pine nuts, half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and half a cup of oil. As you can see, I like to keep everything pretty, pretty um, even, just so I remember the recipe. Because um, a lot of times I just, um, well, no surprise if you know me personally, I like to wing it. <laughs> and, and so just being able to just say, okay, half cup, half cup, half cup is very easy for me. So I like that. Um, you're also gonna need some garlic. And the garlic will vary depending on the size of your cloves. So I use between two to four cloves, depending on um, how big they are. And so now let's get started. I'm gonna put the basil in my food processor. I just have a mini food processor um, here. It's like 2.6 cups, which is why I say two to three cups of basil. I don't know the exact amount. I'm just gonna cram it in there and whatever fits, fits, and that's all good. So whatever you're using um, at home, if you're using a blender or something larger, um, two to three cups of basil. You can kind of figure out how much you like. So I'm gonna shove that all in there as much as I can get in. I really, really love basil. Okay, and now let's grind that up. If you've ever come into my programs, you know they're often loud, so it shouldn't surprise you that my recipes are loud too. <laughs> Grind a little bit more. Okay, and I'm going to add my garlic. Um, I have a pretty big clove here. I'm just gonna cut it up just to make it a little bit easier um, for the food processor, but I'm not gonna mince it all up or anything. Um, I'm just cutting it to make it a little smaller. Chunks. I think I want a little bit more garlic because the second clove was a little smaller. Um, so I'm gonna, I have another clove here. Um, I hate peeling garlic. Um, so this is like a lifesaver for me if you've never used um, one of these like silicone garlic rolls here where you just kind of roll it to peel the garlic. And there we go, some naked garlic. Nice and peeled for me. And I wanna cut that as well. And throw that in there and grind that up too. Okay, and now let's add our pine nuts. Again, that's half a cup. And now cheese. And I'm gonna add some salt. I just add like a pinch of salt. Um, it really depends on what I'm using it for. Sometimes I'll go up to a half a teaspoon of salt um, if I'm using it with other things that I'm not gonna be adding salt to. But that's just kind of a pinch of salt there. Now it's kind of dry and crumbly, so I'm going to add my oil, which will bring it all together. Again, that was a half cup as well. Mix all this stuff up at the top in, and then that will be it. Our last time to grind. And let's try it out. 
looks nice and bright and green and delicious. So now it's ready to use any way you want. Um, like I said, bread, pasta, chicken, just as a dip, it's delicious. So I hope you enjoy making pesto at home.